G'day subscribers, this is Lee from South to North Hunting. Just finished packing our car for our latest trip up to central New South Wales. It's gonna be a real quick trip as usual. Just stuck with work, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, leaving Saturday and coming back on Monday. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep pushing forward with these balers. Apparently there's a few numbers up there, but we'll see. Crop hasn't been cut yet, so it might be difficult, but gotta be in it to win it. So hopefully you enjoy the coming footage. Cheers, see ya. Before we go, I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of our uh, hunting rig. This is a 2008 Hilux SR5. It was originally a tub and I got the tray put on it. I've tried to keep this on budget as much as possible because it is only a hunting rig. I've had Rangers before. I've had a Dual Cab 79 series. I've had Colorados. I've had a Chopped 80 series. Uh, I've currently got a, even got a 300 series, which I'm debating whether to chop or not but it just costs so much bloody money so that's still in the to-do list we'll just see what happens but uh, as I said it's a 2008 I tried to keep things on budget as possible um, just got a Chinese bull bar which I can't stand eventually I'll change that we've got the uh, ARB Solace LED lights which are real good I really like them I took them off my uh, 79 series dual cab and put them on here just got a basic dual battery setup just a bloody a cheapo, super cheap auto, um, dual battery system. I've got the, as you might have seen in the previous uh, review, I've got the um, the Hellfire inverter there for the spotlight. Um, great light, highly recommended. I've just gone standard, back to standard wheels, the original SR5 wheels. Uh, I think maybe one size up on the tyre size. I think maybe, yeah, I think the upper one, one, one size up the normal. Uh, in the back here, so we've got power sockets for the fridge, AOB fridge. I didn't bother getting a powder coated tray because just bloody scratches and chips. Um, Arrow tool quip, that was the most budget conscious tray I could get. I also had this ETB toolboxes, uh, I had this as a storage box on my um, quad bike trailer. But uh, it was sitting there doing nothing so I converted that into a cage. As you can see, I'll open it up. So there. Nice and roomy, you can fit a shit, top, shit load of dogs on here, but anyway. Um, also got a power socket put in the cage. Dogs haven't chewed it so far, we'll see. Um, I wanted to put up high, but this auto lick misinterpreted what I told him. So anyway, we'll leave it down there. So I'll leave that there so the dog can still hunt on the back during the hot weather, and I can still have a fridge in the back. So yeah, it's worked okay for me so far. Uh, on the back here, I've got the, um, I've just got these installed, the reverse uh, lights, those road vision ones, they're nice and bright on both sides. And then the other day I just bought this um, June storage box from Anaconda and I was gonna permanently put it up there, but my son said, Dad, you're not a tool, so I'm just gonna put it up there for when I go hunting. Um, in there I've got the spotlight, uh, first aid kits, shovel, a uh, little bit of recovery gear and so on. And I also, Got the, small, the lightweight Max Tracks. I installed those today. Didn't want to put them on the back because I'll probably get knocked off when I park somewhere. So yeah, pretty happy with this rig actually. Economic. Um, good on, yeah, as, as I said, it's good on fuel. Um, got enough power for what I need. I hardly tow with it, but yeah, it does the job. Inside's pretty basic. I've just got the AOB canvas seat covers. I just installed the Uniden UHF just there. Put a couple extra power sockets down the bottom there, as you can see. Lights for, uh, uh, buttons for lights and stuff like that. Got the Pioneer head unit, which is really handy. Cordless Apple CarPlay, all that sort of stuff. And like before, if you saw my review, we've got the Firelight um, roof mount as well, which has been real, real handy. So. I highly recommend them, mate. They, um, I've got the Hellfire, as I explained previously, and I can't fault it, so yeah. So in a nutshell, this is our hunting rig. Does the job. High lux. You all know it's not an exciting car, but it gets the job done. Like I said, I can't stand that bull bar. Um, I went looking flat out for a new one on Marketplace, or a second hand one, I can't seem to find the right one. But anyway, we'll get there. Okay, we are packed. Taz, Jetta, and Tyson. Ready to go. 
See you on the road. That's not ideal. That's better. <laughs> First hunt, finally unpacked the car, had something to eat. Now I'm going to go for a quick run before it gets dark, then we'll put on the spotlight and all that sort of stuff. So, we've got young Rex here, Kelpie, Collie, maybe a bit of bully or something in him. Taz, of course, Tice at the back. Let's go. We're just checking a paddock now. Um, the farmer told us that uh, he saw a good mob this afternoon before we got here. So hopefully the wing's right. I've put the old dog on the back, Tyson, because apparently there's a good boar on the, in, the, in this mob and I don't want to miss him. So hopefully we get onto something. A bit of jump. First whale. Good dog. That's Taz. Good dog. Rex, Rex, come on. First whale. Good dog, you're on. You're on. Good dogs. Good dogs. Perfect. Good result. Good result. Come on, get on him. Get on him. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good dog. Get him, go on. Good dog. Good dogs. Good girl. Good girl, Jenna. Good girl. Good girl. Get all of him. Good dog. Good girl. Get on. Get him. Good dogs. Get on. Good dogs. Perfect. Look at that. Well, I couldn't be happy with that. Oh, good Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Go on, good girl. Oh. <laughs> good dogs. Come on, Jenna. Back here. Go on, get up. Get up. Come on. Get into him. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog, girl. Get him, Tess. 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 Getting Tess. Getting Tess. Getting Tess. Whoop. <laughs> Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. 
Good dog. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Get over here. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good dog. Right, I couldn't be happier with that. The dogs pulled her up. And how bail they are. God, I could have had it on bail for ages. So, couldn't be happier with that. Real good result. Um, Tyson did the initial jump. And um, Taz followed from behind with Rex. And uh, got a bit of a nip on the back legs like she should do. And pulled up. Had it on bail. Well, I had it on record for about two and a half minutes. But, um, yeah, she should have, she would have had him there for ages. So, yeah. Wrap with the result. Just a crappy seal. I know. But, first proper bail for the dog. I'm wrapped, there she is. She did a great job. Could be happier. Young Jitter, it's a, probably her first proper look at a pig in daylight. She did real well as well in the end. She started to catch on when it had to be done. Right, it's three in the morning. Off for a hunt. Hasn't Jared in the back. Who are you putting in the back, Frank? None. None. Okay. Gonna keep um, Tyson in the box. Right, our first stop is that paddock. We got that pig in this afternoon. <laughs> Just fellow tripped up. Um, yeah, that pig. We got the pig. The paddock. We got the pig this morning. Uh, this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna go a bit further across though. Look at that pig, we only probably went halfway. Um, now we're gonna go further across to the boundary, further west. There's two little pricks jumping down. Teach them to stay on the back of the year every time we stop. Anyway, it's only two degrees, bloody freezing. I'd rather be in the car than the buggy though, I can tell you. Is a hundred and something meters out there somewhere. Taz has gone back in. He 
He's on to it, big time. Only 150. That canola stick as. Doug is actually Taz. He's onto a big time Frank, he's 200 out. Yeah. Yep. Is he towards the track or more in the gap? No, he's, he's coming back towards the track again now. Yeah. Nah, he's coming, he's going back in, he's double, he's doubling back. Nah, it's thick as. Taz is coming back. Yeah. He's heading out west again. No. Nah. We might have to head to that other fence, Frank. He's trying far out. I already might have missed him. Yeah, unfortunately, we came up empty handed. Tyson was out there for quite a bit, out to about 250, 300. And that thick canola. Taz followed him out for a bit, but didn't stick with him. So, a little bit disappointing, but she still jumped with him. So. Working very keen off the ute, as you can see. Look, they're both keen as. Zero degrees. Better walk this scrub later. All right, so empty-handed overnight. That's okay. A little improvements. Um, this little one is um, jumping on the Ute just on command now, which is fantastic. She wasn't doing that before. Like I always say, every trip they learn something, they're progressing, so I'm happy with that. My days of just um, wanting to smash pig after pig after pig are probably gone. But uh, it's all about the dogs now. But uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier at the moment. There are pigs everywhere, as you can see there. 
there's going to be a good, good wall poking through the fence here. There you go. Righto, well that was a massive mob, I reckon there must have been 50 in that mob. Uh, out of that we got four. Nothing, uh, got a couple of big sows. Didn't see any boars in that mob, believe it or not. I thought there was a boar, but um, it turned to be a big sow, so that was all good. Nothing all morning, then we come across that, so yeah, gotta be happy with that. Right, I was gonna walk a patch of scrub not far from the house. Um, normally holds the pigs. So I go on foot, see how these dogs go on, on the ground. Confident there'll be pigs in here. Dogs will be working real well here, but no pigs. All right, this is our last hunt for the, the trip. Got three bales on the back. Got Kona use a. Uh, Point at Catahoula, cross with a bit of something else. Young, promising dog as well. Right. Yep, so there we go. Well, that's it. Another trip done and dusted. Five pigs caught for the trip. Not many pigs, but really wrapped with the improvement of the two young bailers. Um, as I said, it's all about the dog. Um, massive improvements for Taz. She's holding proper bail, which I'm really impressed with. Um, she pulled that pig up, the first one that we got. Um, and little Jetta starting to hold bail, jumping on the ute, on command, probably 80% of the time, but still. And um, yeah, couldn't be happier. So, look, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. Spread the word. Cheers. See you until next time.